The next thing I really want to work on is this strained relationship between Brooke and Sam. I do believe I have a technique that will help them. I want to give you both the opportunity to write a letter to one another about how you feel about each other from here. OK, and when you've done that, bring me your letters. Writing letters will be a way that these sisters will be able to express how they've been feeling, and then they can convey that to one another without bickering like they have done. I knew this is the time to say what I'm feeling. I felt pretty good about saying everything because I knew if I were to tell my sister face to face, she would just fight with me about it. So let's just read our letters and take it from there. Let's just uh, go with it. Sam read the letter I wrote to her. Sam, I feel like all this time we've had together was a waste. I mean, we spent most of the time fighting over stupid things. I felt like the only time you wanted me around was to watch Chrissy when you'd go out. I could tell she was real hurt, but I just wanted to let her know that I was hurt by the way she treated me. There's been so much I wanted to tell you, but I couldn't because it would get out and everyone would know. We're not the sisters I wanted us to be. You're like the friend I can't stand at times, but I would honestly like for us to get closer and act like real sisters for once. How do you feel reading a letter like the one that you've just read from your sister? It hurts, but I don't blame her. There's no communication. We've never talked. It's like I've been against her rather than on her side. It makes me want to be a better sister. You want to read yours? Yes. Brooke, I know we haven't got it in along for a while. I hate that things are this way. It hurts me that you can't run to me as your older sister because you're afraid. I admit that it's my fault. I made you feel like you can't trust me, like your feelings don't matter to me, and they do. Love you, Sam. Sam's letter said to me that she's sorry for the way she is. She wanted to change, and I, I like the fact that she's really trying on that. I love you, and I would help you with whatever you need. You know that I'd do that. Everything you just said made me realize that you care. I never really expected you to be there, and I feel like you are. Give her a chance. In the future, I feel like we're still going to continue being open with each other. I could see it in Brooke's eyes that she was happy. I felt that she understood what I was saying. The first thing I want to do with the George family is to establish some house rules. I have here, get with the memo, OK? So it's a little British saying we say get with the memo. And uh, this memo is all about house rules, the issues that are in this book. Throughout the day, the family wrote down the good and the bad in the journal. So I'm very curious to see how it plays out later on.